Okay guys, as I shoot this video, today is Saturday, July the 4th, 2020. It is Independence Day here in the United States and uh, wishing everybody a happy and safe 4th and God bless America. Alright guys, what you're looking at here is the top portion of my Advanced Telescope Systems 12 inch portable pier tripod. Uh, that I wanted to lower the height the height that this is now to the very top right here is 39 inches and I wanted to lower it a bit so I came up with an idea to accomplish that so here's what I want to accomplish guys I want to take this tripod and I want to lower it Right now, the finished height is 39 inches. So I'm going to see how low I can practically go and still have the rubber feet uh, contact the ground. Because if you go too far out, then you're not going to get enough surface area on the, uh, from the uh, rubber at the bottom. But uh, my idea is to extend them out. I've done some pre-testing is to extend those legs out by three inches so let's see what that looks like and there you have it guys I haven't changed the position of the camera but I just uh, put the extensions in each of the three legs so I went from 39 inches to the top of the tripod plate there that I showed to 34 and one quarter inches which is a total of four and three quarter inches of a drop so I had some different ideas as to how I wanted to kick the leg out to drop this tripod one of them was to eliminate the turnbuckle and just use a straight piece of uh, aluminum stock then you run the chance of possibly losing the turnbuckle, but I have a uh, area where I put all my astronomical parts and pieces. But I thought the best thing would probably be to keep the turnbuckle and just extend the length of that turnbuckle. The advantage of keeping the turnbuckle in place is that all I'd have to do if I wanted to go back to the original height is just take the extension off and you're right back to the uh, stock feature the stock height also you also keep the feature of the adjustability of using the turnbuckle to adjust your levelness of the tripod now I don't use this feature too much anymore I basically use shim stock that I have various thicknesses which I've cut and I can stick under each leg to get the tripod level. To attach this extension you will need a three quarter inch combination wrench and a three eighths inch Allen wrench. So we're going to attach this extension.
So as you can see, it's very simple. And by doing this, it allows you to go right back to stock. You haven't changed anything about the uh, tripod. But you've got the advantage of lowering it. These are the extenders that I made. The stock is four and a half inches long overall by inch and a half wide by quarter inch thick. Now I drilled two one half inch diameter holes that are three inches on center. To anchor the uh, extension to the turnbuckle and I am using one half inch diameter by one and a half inches long socket head cap screw and then on the other side of that I've attached a one half inch diameter acorn nut again stainless steel now to make this first I had to cut the stock to length and I made it just a bit longer, about a sixteenth or so. That way I could uh, actually sand it to length. Once I had the pieces cut to the rough length, I took all three and sanded just one side of each. next thing I needed to do was make a mark at four and a half inches which is what I wanted the finish length to be and I was going to sand it to the finish length so I took a parallel and clamped it to the table of the uh, disc sander made sure that it was 90 degrees to the uh, disc and then ground the length to size Then on all the pieces, once I had the length sanded, I made a mark on one edge that I wanted each one of them to be uh, abutted to the turnbuckle. And once I did that, I had to locate that hole. So I took that marked edge and this is the turnbuckle. This did have a little plastic washer and I just plucked that out of here. Uh, it was a nylon type washer. So what I did is put the piece in here like that and then from this side I used the transfer punch 
which is what you see here. This isn't a center punch, so this is only used to lightly uh, make a mark on the stock, and then you would finish it with a center punch. So then I would put that in here, locate where that belonged, and then from that point, the mark that I had here, I measured three inches from that mark and made another location here so there would be three inch center line which is what I wanted to extend the leg out. Now I drilled all the holes on a drill press. I started uh, by locating each of these center punch marks uh, drilled with a center drill then I followed that up with a quarter inch through hole quarter inch diameter through hole and then I finished with the one half inch diameter drill through. Once that was accomplished with all the holes, I uh, then deburred them with a router burr deburring tool. The next part of the process that I did was to radius the opposite side that would attach to the turnbuckle, which would then be the side that attaches to each movable leg. Finally, I um, filed all the surfaces and then used some Scotch-Brite. Uh, I, I sprayed some lacquer thinner on the uh, aluminum. Then I used Scotch-Brite to kind of buff the surface up. And also the uh, lacquer thinner, after I was done, was used to clean the part. <laughs> 